I was born in uh, Mississippi, a little town called Edinburgh, Mississippi. I grew up on a farm. Uh, what a young man or a boy would do growing up on a farm is to they raise cotton and corn and uh, we worked on a farm. I remember the motto of my first unit, of the first division, no mission too difficult, no sacrifice too great, duty first. And I believe that I felt that. Van Thomas Barfoot enlisted in the Army in 1940 and was assigned to the 1st Infantry Division. The one quarter Choctaw would later be described as one of the most significant Native American heroes of the Second World War. After reassignment to the 157th Infantry, Barfoot participated in numerous amphibious landings in Italy before finding himself near the town of Carano in May of 1944. My unit landed at Salerno after uh, Sicily, where we were trying to gain a foothold into the mountains. And of course, we were held there by a tremendous German force all the way across the Italian peninsula of the boot. Barfoot's unit had been in a defensive position for weeks when the order came down to attack. I did numerous patrols in, out in the enemy territory. I actually took a patrol to within a few hundred yards of the objective that I was assigned. So I knew it very well. I knew quite well where the minefields were. And we knew we had a minefield to go through, numerous mines. So the first thing we had to do was get through the minefield. The enemy covered the minefield with machine gun fire. As we got there, we began to, began to receive some, a small arms fire. And I asked the Lieutenant Nation, my platoon officer, if he would let me go out on the left flank because I'd been in that area and take the squad and go out and we'd take the machine guns out. He would cover us, so we went out and fortunately I was able to reach the first machine gun, was able to eliminate it. As I moved down the trenches, uh, coming to another one, I was able to eliminate part of them and some surrendered. Then I went on to another position and I think that there was only one or two on that position, but there were several other in, uh, German soldiers in the trench. Well, the, the whole group surrendered. Then the platoon moved on forward. In all, Barfoot captured 17 German soldiers, but the day's action was far from over. Soon after, Barfoot spotted three German tanks closing on the unit's newly captured position. Three people and the rocket launchers, all we had to, with the tanks was a, just a bazooka, as they called it then, and I went out and I knew that we weren't any match against any one of the three tanks that we saw coming. So I ordered the people with me back in the ditch. I took the, uh, the rocket launcher, I took up a position to where I could get the tanks as they moved and, and let one move. And it came within a very short distance of me and I was able to knock off the track of the tank. When I did that, the tank started to turn and the people uh, got out of the tank. Barfoot's action effectively halted the German counterattack, and although greatly fatigued, he persisted in helping two wounded comrades travel 1,700 yards to a position of safety. When I uh, got to regimental headquarters, the, uh, it had been raining and it was miserable, and the assistant division commander took out his hand and shake hands and I want to congratulate you. And 
I asked him, what for? And he told me that he had received information that I'd been awarded the Medal of Honor. It means uh, so much. It's, uh, it uh, most means to it is a recognition that the troops in my unit gave me when they recommended me. All this came as a surprise to me because I felt personally and still feel personally that I was doing my job. A leader is supposed to protect, lead, and sacrifice himself if necessary. I just can't imagine me ever fighting for a leader that wouldn't do that. <laughs>